President Trump breaking his silence to back Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore. The president, who's faced more than a dozen allegations of sexual assault and harassment, dismissed the accusations against Moore, attacked his Democratic rival. Our senior White House correspondent Cecilia Vega has all the latest. Good morning, Cecilia. Hey, George, good morning to you. Twelve days after the Roy Moore allegations first surfaced, President Trump is finally weighing in. And he is saying, essentially, that he would rather see Roy Moore, an accused child molester, win this Alabama Senate seat than a Democrat. Overnight, Roy Moore went on TV in Alabama to issue a full-throated denial. I didn't have any wrongful relationships, any uh, engaging any sexual misconduct with an underage woman. The former judge going after his accusers, saying he's the one who has been hurt. It was very hurtful, not only to my family, but to my reputation, because this is something that's... Uh, you just don't do this as his campaign for Senate celebrates a big boost from the White House. We don't believe these women, but we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about helping Donald Trump making America great again. Roy Moore resign, Mr. President. After days of dodging questions, the president finally broke his silence, coming to Roy Moore's defense. What is your message to women, sir, during this pivotal moment in our country where we were talking about sexual misconduct? You've had your own allegations against you. What do you say to women? Let me just tell you, Roy Moore denies it. That's all I can say. He denies it. And, and by the way, he totally denies it. Go and attacking Moore's Democrat opponent, Doug Jones. We don't need a liberal person in there, a Democrat Jones. I've looked at his record. It's terrible in crime. Now, the president was also asked if he would campaign for Roy Moore. He left open that possibility, George. He said he would get back to us on that one next week. Yeah, and, and uh, Cecilia, just on Sunday, Mark Short, the president's assistant, was telling us that the fact that the president wasn't campaigning for Moore was a sign that he wasn't questioning the women's accounts. Very sharp evolution in the White House story over the last week. Oh, exactly. A real evolution on this. You know this. For days, the White House party line has been this should be up to the Alabama voters to decide. Uh, Ivanka Trump was one of the first people to come forward and say that she essentially believes Roy Moore's accusers. Then earlier this week, Kellyanne Conway basically said what the president said yesterday. She bashed the Democrat in this race. In the end, it seems that the president sided with her and, of course, Steve Bannon, George, and sticking with Roy Moore. Yeah, and sticking with his base. Okay, Cecilia Vega, thanks very much.